saying that he uh, had lost the receipts, didn't know where they were, or was not aware of the fact that uh, he had not repaid that money. Of course, paying back uh, that kind of money in the middle of a scandal uh, has certain optics. Morneau also apologizing for not recusing himself from discussions and decisions that were made by the Trudeau government on the WE charity uh, being chosen to run this $900 million student grant program. Of course, the whole thing blew up amid revelations of Justin Trudeau's only family connections, his own family family connections to we now both he and Morneau are under ethics investigations as well let's bring in Daniel Bella standing by in Montreal director of the McGill Institute for the study of Canada political commentator uh, Danielle this does not look good what do you think no it doesn't look good for the liberals again in the context of minority parliament they don't control uh, what's happening with the ethics committee the opposition is in control and uh, we saw that today, of course, they, they were able to get Bill Morneau to testify, and uh, it was not a very favorable uh, moment for uh, uh, Minister Morneau. Uh, this revelation, of course, about these two trips and the fact that, you know, these trips happened in 2017, and he only uh, repaid uh, today, um, that's, you know, uh, uh, problematic to say the least. Um, and, and I think it's adds. Uh, I think it, this is adds to uh, this ongoing story, and we'll keep talking about we charity and um, and uh, the Canada Student um, Service Grant. And, and so I think that this adds new ammunitions, provides new ammunitions to the opposition, uh, who's now asking at least the Conservatives are asking uh, 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 Bill Morneau to to resign. Yeah, and Morneau also saying, Danielle, that his family has made two donations totaling $100,000 to the charitable organization, to WE, one of them in June of this year, uh, the other donation in April of, of 2018. How serious do you think this is? Well, I think WE Charity um, has, over the years, developed ties with a lot of politicians. It seems we, we heard recently, for example, that, that Scott Moe, the Premier of Saskatchewan, went to Kenya and took part in some WE activities uh, uh, earlier this year uh, during the um, uh, Christmas holiday, so um, New Year holiday. So I think that, that there is um, questions to be asked about the relationship between um, premiers, prime ministers, ministers, and, and these organizations that can uh, seek uh, important government contracts. Um, so, uh, but in this specific case, uh, I think, um, you know, it, it, it makes this story even uh, um, more problematic for, for the Liberals in terms of the, the optics, um, because we learn new details and these details uh, raise the alarm in terms of conflict of interest even, even more than what we, we knew before. And I think it was an interesting moment during this uh, this testimony today when I think Charlie Angus, one of the opposition MPs on the committee, the ethics committee, asked Bill Morneau if he had read the, the Conflict of Interest Act, and he didn't answer yes. Mm. Like, he had this vague answer that basically this is a document that was provided to him after he became, um, you know, an MP, but he never said, I read the Conflict of Interest Act. And that in itself doesn't look good. No, it doesn't. And uh, the prime minister appearing at a finance committee to testify, Danielle, I mean, that's pretty unprecedented, too, to think that's actually going to happen. And uh, one thing it will mean is that the story is not going anywhere, and it's going to continue now once we have a date and a time when Justin Trudeau will appear. Uh, and that's going to be a pretty astonishing sight as well. Yes, the story is not going away, and it's bad news for the Liberals. We saw a recent poll by Abacus, for example, that they have lost uh, several points in, in the polls in recent weeks. Um, and so I think the image of the prime minister has already suffered from this. Um, and the, the liberals in general have lost ground in the polls. So that's not good news because, of course, if the prime minister testifies, we'll talk about this even more than if it's, say, the finance minister, like it happened today. So this story has legs and the fact that the... Uh, the opposition has so much clout in these committees, ethics committees, finance committees, uh, I think is, uh, is really complicating this story. A contrast with what happened uh, last year with SNC-Lavalin, uh, uh, a story that happened when the Liberals 
uh, at the majority government and they control the committees. They no, they no longer have the, this level of control that they had before. And I think uh, it means that they, they no longer control the agenda. And I think this gives uh, um, uh, a lot of, uh, I think, uh, far power to the opposition. Yeah, just before we go, the ethics cloud as well, Danielle. You talked about SNC-Lavalin and also, of course, the, the trip to the Aga Khan's private island. Those were the first two ethical issues Justin Trudeau faced, uh, major ones. Now this as well. So this is number three, and it's not going away. Um, what, what seems to be the problem with the Trudeau government and ethics? Well, it, you know, it seems that there is a lot of people... To the, today, Bill Morneau used the word oversight, uh, that, that it was, you know... Some, that he forgot, or that it, it, it's something that you know he, he could have done, but just forgot about it. I mean, an oversight. Yeah, an oversight, exactly. So, you, I mean, there are a lot of oversights, it seems, uh, and 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 that is uh, an issue in terms of is it a lack of self-awareness or uh, a lack of rigor or the fact that you know some people don't really know the rules and they have not read the Conflict of Interest Act. Uh, certainly. Um, Three, uh, three inquiries, three probes by the ethics commissioner in five years is, is a lot. Danielle Bellin joining us from Montreal, political commentator uh, tied with McGill University. Thank you for this, Danielle. Always good to have you on the program. Thanks for the invitation. Have a wonderful afternoon. You as well.